spread his blessings, everyone. Um, I'm talking about healthcare today. You know, I've been commenting on a lot of videos, and recently there was a video where they were talking about should mom and pop stores be forced to offer their employees health insurance? And I think they should. Now, I got a lot of people up in arms yelling and hollering at me going, well, they can't afford health insurance and you're just going to drive these mom and pop businesses out of business which may be true, I, I don't know. But the thing is, is that you hear people yelling and screaming and hollering about forcing mom and pop businesses to purchase health insurance for their employees. But you never hear people fighting and bickering and yelling and hollering about other business expenses that are needed when operating a business. You don't hear them yelling and hollering going, oh, what the rent for the brick and mortar that they're going to have to use is way too damn high. You're going to drive that mom and pop out of business. You never hear, sorry, let me get this straight here. You never hear about, oh, well, the electricity, that's going to be way too high. That's going to drive that mom and pop out of business, What? which may be true. But you never hear that. You never hear them w bitching or whining or moaning or complaining about that. You never hear about, oh, well, the garbage. Oh, that's going to be too, too, too damn high. You're going to drive that mom and pop out of business. How can they survive? Again, which may be true. But you never hear that. You just don't. Why? It's an expensive business. <laughs> and each and every little expense for business has the potential of driving that mom and pop out of business. You see, <clears throat> everybody, now I know technically they're not entitled to health insurance, but we are a modern nation, and we are one of the few and only modern nations that don't provide insurance for our citizens. And although health insurance is currently not a right, I think it should be. And, you know, it's just, it's ridiculous. You know, I actually had someone, a libertarian friend of mine, and trust me, I'm a lot more libertarian than I'll ever be to Republican. And there are certain libertarian things that I do agree with. But he's like, well, just don't get sick. Don't get sick? Oh, gee, why did I never think of that? Why? Wow, what a fucking concept. Just don't get sick. Well, let me try that, buddy. Let me try it. <laughs> oh my God. Seriously? Seriously. Look, we need health insurance. And we need to take care of ourselves. Otherwise, it's going to cost us a lot more as a society. And it'll be a lot less to take care of our people if we actually encourage health care instead of health, uh, how should I put this? Um, instead of running and taking care of all the issues that happen because we don't care for each other, because we don't take care of our health, not because we don't want to go to the doctor, but because we can't. And then we make it so, so hard for, for us to take care of ourselves. Uh, first off, because health insurance doesn't, you know, <laughs> I can understand this from the health insurance company, but I can't, ex I can't understand it from the Republicans. They want you to be able, they want the health insurance companies to be able 
to deny you health care based on pre-existing conditions. Isn't that what you need fucking health care for? Stuff that you already, you know, have that you need to take care of? You know, I okay, let's say you're pretty fucking healthy, except for maybe you're diabetic or something. Well, that's the one fucking thing you know for sure you need to take care of that you need the health insurance for. But that's the one and only thing it's not going to fucking pay for. It doesn't make any goddamn sense. Look, people whine and bitch and complain saying you can't ask mom and pops to provide health insurance. If they want to, that's great, but you can't force them. Well, the thing is, is that, you know, if you don't force them, then you know who's going to find the loopholes and really not provide health insurance? It's not the mom and pops. It's going to be the big businesses, you know, such as like Walmart. You know, they already don't provide health insurance for most of their employees. And the ones that do get it that I know of, it's really shitty insurance. It's... It's the privilege of saying that you have health insurance. And that's about it. And it's ridiculous. You know, those companies itself, there's no excuse why a big company like that would not be able or should not be able to provide health insurance for all of their employees. And you know what? I'm not just talking about full-time. I'm talking about part-time, too. People need insurance. You know what? You're thinking, well, if the part times, oh, those those are the those are the kids that are working for extra money to get clothes and rock concert tickets and all that crap. You know what? That's a load of shit. You know, that's like saying, well, all minimum wage employees are like that. That was a first time job. That's a step ladder. That's to get yourself out of mom and dad's house. You know what? It's just no, it's maybe the way it was used to be, but it's not like that anymore. It's just not. You know, it's the mid 20 year old, 30 year old, sometimes 40 year old supporting themselves and their families. You know, I know like most people like to think that it is, you know, the, the youngsters that are trying to get extra money for the hep clothes and the tattoos and the rock concerts, and maybe that's the way it used to be, but it certainly isn't now. The thing is, is that we need health insurance. And if our work does not provide it for us, where do we get it? Now, I know that there are certain places where you can go to get health insurance, not through work. But like someone like me, cannot get that insurance. And if I do, and that is a big if, uh, they would charge me so much that it would almost be cheaper just to pay for everything in cash when I walk into a doctor's office or the hospital or the ER or wherever in the hell I go. So people like me fall through the cracks. The point is, is that I'd be working full-time if I can. And even then, not every full-time job has health insurance. So you got a lot of the conservatives going, well, don't force the mom and pop shops to to uh, provide health insurance. But then also at the same time, they're arguing that we shouldn't have universal health care. Well, when you're asking people not to force the mom and pop shops to provide health insurance then you're actually making it necessary for things like universal health care. So you need to make up your mind. You really do. So a lot of people got mad at me, but I said, you know, why would you be so mad? Yeah, maybe it's the fact that they have to provide health insurance that makes it so they can't afford to be in business. But when you, when you own a business, why do people own businesses? It's so they don't have to work for the man. They're not making money for the man. They're making money for themselves 
to provide a future for themselves and, and their family. Maybe they don't work well with others. You know, they're, they're a genius. I mean, look, look at, I don't know. <laughs> um, Steve Jobs. Steve Jobs was a fucking genius, but from what, you know, from what you see, you know, when you read the, when you saw the movie and read the books, he wasn't the best person to work with or work for, really, but, you know, when he worked for Atari, they had him working by himself because nobody wanted to fucking work with him. He was overbearing, he didn't bathe, he didn't, you know, he was, like most geniuses, very, very, very hard to work with. So a lot of people, instead of trying to bow down and cower to the man, they do the American dream. They try to make their own business. But the thing is, is that not everyone does it. Why? You make a lot more money. Well, probably because not everyone has the money to start a business and run a business. And health insurance for your workers just happens to be one of those expenses. So as I said, when I commented and I caught a lot of shit for it, well, it costs money to run a business and not everyone runs businesses because not everyone can afford to do so. I think that should be considered just another business expense. What do you think? I know something has to be done. And this Republican ex poor excuse for health insurance is certainly not it. You know, if you want to get rid of Obamacare or what is more, what should be known as the Affordable Care Act, that's great. It's not the best thing in the world. Some people are getting stuck for more money. But it's also a godsend for someone like me. So, what do you think? I think if you want to repeal and replace, that's all fine and dandy. But have something to replace it with. Preferably something better. And if you don't have something better, no matter how much you hate it or despise it, what are you re why are you going to replace it with something that's worse? You know, take a pill, chill out. And repeal and replace it with something better when you come up with it. You know, if it was that fucking bad, you would think that all this time that you've been fighting tooth and nail to, to, to get rid of it when it was impossible when Obama was in office, because even if it got everything that it needed, he would have just ended up vetoing it. So instead of taking that time and energy at that point in time, to do absolutely nothing except for getting people's feathers riled about it sometimes for things that were true and sometimes just because you want people on your side and people getting pissed off maybe you could have actually come up with something <clears throat> viable you know something that was actually better i don't want to get rid of obamacare until you can come up with something better. And then you can repeal it and replace it with something better. Something that's needed. Everybody needs health insurance. No matter what your status in life. And if you're not willing to use what you're forcing or want to force other people to use, then you have no right to try to force it on other people. I'm sorry. It's just the way life is. Um, haven't been getting a lot of views lately, but I'd like to hear what people are thinking about this. Blessed be.